Hello, and welcome to my rant for today. I have decided to put out my thoughts about what is going on with European soccer. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And Well, we'll see. I have five questions here, and I'm going to try to answer them. So, first up, who gets into Europe next year for European competitions? i.e. the Champions League. Well, before I start this, uh, everything here is opinion-based on my part, nothing else. But, uh, yeah. So, who gets into Europe next year? I think, personally, UEFA has a uh, metric, I don't know what it's actually called, but they have a metric for teams in Europe, and I think that's probably what it should be used, what should be used. Like, that's how they use, that's what they use to, uh, put teams in different pots for the Champions League draws and things like that. So I think they probably should use something along those lines. Um, because the best teams will still get in there, but still use the same number. Like, uh, England gets four. Premier League teams get, there's four of them that go in to the Champions League, so they'll use that number to the top four English teams go in and then top three or four Spanish teams and French teams things like that and you'll still get the smaller teams from like I don't know Greece or something like that who get into the Champions League and have a chance to play against the bigger teams in Europe that's probably what I think they should do they probably won't they'll probably give it to the leagues let them decide probably the top four of last year or like for England for example the top four last year's league, like just basically pretend like this year didn't even happen and give it to those teams last year. Or they could give it to the top four right now if, like, let's say England, we'll go League One as an example, League One canceled their season for the rest of the year because of the coronavirus. So if they, they can give them where they're like, they can give them the spots for the Champions League where they're ranked right now like in their table. I know, I know PSG's up top, so they would get one. PSG won last year, so they would get one if they used last year's standings as well. But teams who are in second it might not have been in second last year in the French League. So they would get a uh, Champions League this year, or next year, I should say, as opposed to a team from last year getting in for next year's season in the Champions League because of their standings from last year. I think they should probably do it either using the metric or using last year's standings. I don't think you can use this year's standings for these leagues if they don't finish the season. I don't think it's fair to everyone. But, I don't know. They'll figure it out. Okay, next. The Premier League is going to play in Australia to finish out their season. I think this is a great idea, honestly. They should probably overall cancel the season because if the players are not very excited about uh, finishing out their season from a safety standpoint but I mean if they could go to Australia, Australia's giving them stadiums if they can make a deal with that and those stadiums to finish out their 8-ish remaining games 9-8-ish wherever you're at remaining games I think that's a great idea. If they can actually finish out the season, that's fine. I'm okay with it. But the players need to come first. The players' safety needs to be a priority. And if the players aren't comfortable doing it, they can't do it. And they need 100%, uh, what's the word? 100% like acceptance, I guess, from the Premier League teams to be like, yeah, we can do this. They can't have. 18 out of the 20 teams be say yes and then do it anyway because it's not fair it's not fair to those to other teams that are like no I don't want to do it um a little thing I don't actually have this out as a question but well I'll get it with that one. okay so should PSG have won the title this is going to go in similar vein to the next
this question. The question in the title, you noted this by now. But I don't think they should have. Obviously still my opinion based stuff. But I don't think they should have won the title. Because they didn't finish the season. The League One did it in a way... I, I just don't like it. They did it in a way that's like... Points per game or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was, but they did it like points per game. And your total points divided by the number of games you played or something like that. I can't, I can't remember exactly how they did it, and that's how they ranked everyone. I, I don't know. But, and obviously PSG was given the title because League One, the rest of League One isn't going to happen in France. But it, it's still like, you didn't finish out the season. You didn't, every team didn't play every other team twice. And that's how these leagues work. So you can't just cut off the thing. You can cancel it, that's fine. But you just, you can't give anyone a title because the season wasn't complete. Now, the next point, should Liverpool be given the Premier League title? They are, like, what, two games winning away, something like that? Now, it should be noted that PSG was only six points ahead of whoever's in second. I can't remember who it was. But they were only six points ahead of, like, nine games left. That's nothing. That can be done in a week, because at this point they're probably playing weekday games but six points and they were given a title with like nine games remaining this is ridiculous Liverpool's a different story they're 20 points ahead with like 10 games left or something like that nine games left maybe but so Liverpool if the season would have played out normally this wouldn't have happened would they have won the title absolutely absolutely would have won the title but <laughs> They, it's still possible for them to lose the title. I mean, it's not going to happen. It wouldn't have happened. If they play in Australia, they'll win. They deserve it. But I, in my opinion, they can't be given a title that they didn't mathematically win. If Liverpool were mathematically unable to be caught, then yes, 100% give them the title. Because they earned it. They literally could not do anything to lose it. But now, at this point, where the situation they're in now, they can still lose the title. If Liverpool loses every single game that they have left, it probably will happen, but it still could happen. They can still not win the title, apparently. So they can't be given that title. Same thing with PSG. If PSG... PSG was only six points ahead, I said, or something like that. They can't be given a title when they haven't won it yet. And it's, it's ridiculous. So, should Liverpool be given the Premier League title? I don't think so. I mean, I understand why people want to give them the title, and they absolutely deserve to win it. There's no doubt about that. They're the best team in the world. They're, they're, crazy good. They absolutely deserve to win this title for the first time. But they can, and they cannot be given it because they haven't finished out the season. They because it's unfair to the team to blow them. Like let's rank if I were to rank their uh, season, let's say, like the teams they've played so far. Obviously they've played different teams than everyone else. Like let's say Man City's in second at this point. They've played different teams to get to the 30-game threshold that Man City have, and they have different teams left. So it's not fair because of, like, I don't know how to explain it, but if Liverpool, let's say, let's just say this ended at, like, five games or something like that. Five games. Is it, the, the league was cut off at five games. I mean, it's obviously a different story at that point, but cut off at five games if Liverpool play the other top six teams like City, Arsenal, Chelsea Spurs and United 
those five teams in their first five games. And City, on the other hand, plays the low-level teams, I'm not going to name, like teams that aren't that good, teams that will be in a relegation battle. Their seasons up to this point have been completely different. So Liverpool will probably have less points because they played more difficult teams. Even though they played the same amount of games, which is why you play 38 games, two games against each opponent to make it even. It's that's how these leagues work. That's why you can't give the people titles when they haven't finished out the season because they haven't played everyone that the other teams have played. I don't know, but okay. So I have four A here. What about domestic cups, like the FA Cup and um, the League Cup? Well, League Cups already happened, but FA Cup and all the other countries' version of the FA Cup with the Copa del Rey and all that stuff. Those competitions give teams Europa League spots. So they're just not going to have that Europa League spot anymore? Is it going to go to someone in the league? But we already discussed how do you determine that? And it's, what if like, let's say in the FA Cup, I mean, it's not, at this point it would be really close to the end of it. Uh... What if, like, the final four was, like, West Ham, Leeds, uh, I don't know, two other teams that aren't going to get a European spot in the table. So four teams that aren't going to get a European spot in the table. They would have the opportunity to play in the Europa League next year. So you can't finish one competition without finishing the other ones and because these are given different spots and that changes what goes up top of the league table because also if a team who gets a Champions League spot wins the FA Cup um, that Europa League spot goes to the next team in line in the table so it changes everything up there and it's it's really complicated so yeah alright final question what will the other leagues in Europe do will they cancel it like we want uh, I'm just going to go over the top five leagues so what do I think obviously the league one's cancelled so that's one uh, what do I think the other ones are going to do I believe yeah I, I got a notification earlier from one football the one football app is great you should get it but I saw that Barcelona is actually doing training starting this Wednesday. I'm recording this on Tuesday, by the way. Tuesday the 5th. May the 5th of 2020. So if anything changes after this, obviously. Yeah. But Spain is... Or not Spain. Barcelona is going back to training this Wednesday. And I know some other teams in the Prem have gotten green lights to go train and things like that in their training. So I'm not entirely sure. Spain Spain, I think Spain will um, probably finish out their season. They've been on the same point ever since this whole thing started, ever since they had to cancel their season or stop playing games. They've been very determined to finish this season. The Premier League's been the same way, honestly. Uh, so I think Spain will probably finish their games. I think they'll play them without fans which ruins all of it, it's a whole other story, but it's the whole point of sports is fans, and it gets away rid of home advantage and things like that, but I'm not going to get into that right now. So I think they'll play without fans, and yeah, that's probably what Spain is going to do. Germany? I don't know, I haven't really listened and paid attention to much of what Germany's been doing through all this in the Bundesliga. Uh, they'll probably try to finish the season. I'm not sure if they will. Obviously, no one knows. But if I had to make a guess, my guess would be that Germany will also finish their season. I don't know how well they're doing around it, but I think they're probably going to finish as well. Italy. 
Italy is a weird case because Italy obviously got hit very hard with this pandemic, like big time hard with this pandemic. So they've been like shut down completely for almost a couple months now, probably. And I, I think Italy will eventually cancel their season. I think they'll do something along the lines of what France did, although they might not give Juventus or whoever's in first, I'm not sure. Their the title I think they'll do I think they're gonna get rid of the season altogether. I think they're going to not play another game this year and I think they're gonna cancel the season completely. That's what I think they're gonna do. So obviously Next is England with the Prem. Uh, do I think they're going to give Liverpool the title? Hmm. That's uh, a toughie. No. No, I don't think they're not going to give Liverpool the title unless they finish out their games. Yeah, unless until Liverpool actually wins it, I don't think they're going to give them the title. I think there would be too much backlash from that. Of everyone being saying that I saying the same things I said of they didn't actually win it uh, they could have still lost it things like that but I think England will play the rest of their games out I think they will I think they're gonna do this Australia thing go play them at neutral sites which again I'm not a fan of because it ruins the home the home field advantage is a thing in all sports but whatever. So I think they're going to do that, and I think they'll be fine. I think they're going to finish out their games, and Liverpool will be crown champions. Um, so that's all I have written down right now. Uh, if anyone actually watches this, put some questions in the comments, and I'll answer them some other time. I enjoy this type of thing. I really am a fan of all this stuff. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is how the game finished out, in case you're wondering. I won, obviously. Just so good. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, I generally post videos three times a week. So, check them out. Bye. <laughs>